everyone. I'm Thea, a Canva Verified Expert affiliate and trainer based in Scotland. And I am here to quickly demonstrate how to create glow stickers in Canva. Now these can be text, logos, graphics, or even photos. So let's get started. Now you can use these, uh, this method to create effects in the free version of Canva, but quite honestly, it's a whole lot better if you have Canva Pro. I'm actually demonstrating this in my free account and I'll kind of show you why Pro is a good idea. And if you want to try Canva Pro, uh, feel free to check out the link at the end of this video and I can offer you 45 days instead of the normal 30 day free Pro trial. So on Canva's own logo to start with. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna click on edit image and then we're gonna scroll down to shadows and we're gonna choose glow. We're gonna click it again and we're gonna turn off the blur, turn off the transparency and we have this nice little outline. Okay, we can play with how big we want the outline to be. Sticker-esque, okay? So it's up to you how, you know, I sometimes will do it kind of like six or seven and then I'm going to go ahead and click on apply down at the bottom of the screen on the left. And it'll take a second. It'll say saving paused until such time as it's done. And honestly, you can keep on doing it as many times as you like. So click edit image again, click on glow. And this time maybe we want it to be a white background. So we're going to change it to white. And we're going to again make the size bigger, take the transparency off and the blur off. And now we have this kind of 3D effect. Again, I can go as big as I want it or somewhere, whatever. You can keep doing this as many times as you like. So that's how you do it with things like logos. Let's do the same with Mr. B or Mrs. B, depending, it's gender neutral here. So our B. And so the same again, I'm gonna click on edit image. I'm gonna to go to shadows and I'm gonna take off the transparency and the blur. And again, I can make it as big or as little as I want. That's quite good, I think. And you know what, the next time I might actually do it and I'll put the red around him to kind of match red or the pink, right? So I'm just gonna click on him again. Once it's done saving, it says saving paused until in such time as it's worked its magic. Okay, now we're good. We're gonna click edit image and we're gonna go to the glow again. This time I am actually gonna try and sample using the color picker, either the pink or let's do the red. Red or the pink, what should we do? The pink? All right, we'll do the pink. Right, and we're gonna crank it up and take that down, take off the blur. And now we've got this nice pink around our little bee. Okay, same again. We're gonna go down once it's done doing its thing and we're gonna go to our be happy. Now, again, I just made this in my pro version of Canva and downloaded as a transparency. So I'll show you what I mean. If I change the background color to the blue, you can see that our be happy is now you can see that there's no background. So it's transparent image. I'm gonna do the same again as I've been doing. Go to edit image, click on shadows, click on glow. And in this case, I think I want it to be white initially. And again, I'm gonna make the size a bit bigger and turn the other things off. So now we really do have that 3D effect. Good, hit apply and so forth. Okay, it's gonna, I'm just gonna do it one more time. This time, let's see what we do. We, do. we could do the yellow again around it, maybe. We just wanted that little white. Let's do the yellow. And I click on the image and I'm gonna go for the yellow. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, take the transparency down and the blur down, and there you go. And now I have this cool 3D sticker effect. And last but not least, let's use the horse. I couldn't find any free versions, cutout versions of photos uh, of bees. So <laughs> we've switched to horses and we're just going to click on shadows. And what will we do here? The black, white, white, let's do white. And then I'll change the background so we can really see it. So same story I'm gonna make him maybe 15, the transparency down and the blur down and hit apply. And I'll change the color of the background so you can actually see. Let's change it to the yellow. There you go, yeah, the yellow. And now we've got this beautiful white background of that. So that's a simple way to make stickers in Canva. I hope you found that useful. 
Well, that's it for another Canva tutorial. If you need help, please reach out and I can make a short Canva tutorial just for you. Also, if you'd like a free 45 day trial of Canva Pro, please hit the link in my bio. Finally, be sure to head over to theandnewcomb.co.uk slash links where I've compiled an amazing array of recommended creativity tools, free resources, extended trials, and much more. Well, that's all for now. So until next time, I'm Thea, say and see ya.